And then on the liability side of things, let's go liabilities and equity. These are third party liabilities. We've got accounts payable. This is like accounts receivable, but now that's what we owe. We'll talk more about it in the second month. It goes up with a bill form and the bill form we can't see because it was a beginning balance and it goes down with a bill payment, which is a type of check form. That's all you expect to see in the accounts payable. But this is by date. We also have a sub ledger report that is going to be by uh, by vendor, which I won't look at now because we don't have much detail in there yet. We didn't do anything much on the visa card yet, but if you're using the visa to make a lot of payments, it would act similar to a bank account up top. And that's why it's got its own section here instead of just being under other current liabilities because you can connect it to the bank feeds. Anything that doesn't have a special need that is an other current liability type of account is down here. So we've got the, this is our sales tax payable, which is only going to go up with the sales forms, which are invoices and sales receipts. They will go down when we pay off the sales tax, which we'll do next month. And we'll see that transaction. And then we've got uh, the, the payroll taxes, which are going up in terms of a liability when we process a payroll, they'll go down when we pay the payroll. And then we've got our equity accounts as a sole proprietorship. We have our, our equity main account not being called retained earnings, but we changed it to owner's equity. And then we made a separate account for investments and the income is gonna roll into the owner's equity automatically. That's the closing process that QuickBooks does automatically. If it were a partnership, we might have multiple capital accounts, we might call them, for the partners to track each partner's claim to the assets in the business. And each partner might have a draws account, the money they take out. Each partner might have an investment account, the money that they put in. Partnerships are actually some of the more tedious bookkeeping to do, more difficult in many ways than a corporation, because a corporation, although it has multiple owners, breaks out the ownership into standardized units. That's the point. So that that's when you have the retained earnings and then instead of draws, you have dividends because everybody has to agree on the dividends per share. Uh, and that's more of a corporate type of decision as opposed to an individual partner deciding to draw out whatever they want in accordance with the partnership agreement and with their capital account and so on.